Welcome to another update here in the Tandem C Television Studios. We're continuing work on the new studio build, and we've made pretty good progress, so I think we ought to head over there and take a look, plus a few other updates, so don't go anywhere. The main goal over at the new studio build is to completely air seal the studio. So uh, we want to do this for two reasons. One, to keep bugs and critters and animals out, uh, and also for climate control reasons. And if you remember from last update, the siding boards on the outside of the garage are nailed directly to the studs. And in between each one of those boards, there's basically an air gap. Um, so we need to seal all that up. And what I've decided to do, or what we decided to do, um, is use insulation boards. So I'll fill the gaps between the studs with insulation board and then spray foam around it. So what I did, I ran down to the Home Depot. I got 16 sheets of half inch 4x8 Owens Corning insulation board and I just started cutting them by hand. You can, I just cut them with a razor blade. Well, with a, uh, I have a 48 inch ruler and used a razor blade. Basically, I had to measure in between each stud because each stud's distance was different. And when I say different, I mean by by over an inch. Um, I was originally just going to use the table saw and rip these out, set the set the uh, wall, uh, set the fence, and then just rip out these boards. But the dis distance between the studs in this in this garage that we're going to be using for a studio are over an inch different. So I'm, I had to cut each one by hand. I found it just to be easiest to do it with a razor blade. You just cut it, score it, break it, and then you can fit it. Um, and when I when I fit it, I just pushed it all the way in and then up top, I just cut the top by hand uh, to make it fit at the top. As I cut more and more of these boards, I really started to get kind of a system, kind of a rhythm going, quite honestly. I was able to score, break, cut, fit, cut the top, done, moving on to the next one. You kind of get a rhythm going. It gets going pretty quick. And I was able to get actually three uh, sections, three boards out of each four by eight sheet with some left over that I'll be able to use in other places later on. Um, but I, I was actually able to get a pretty good rhythm going. And this section of the wall I, it took me about 30, 45 minutes tops. Now there were a lot of nails. You probably noticed there were some nails sticking through that I was able to use to kind of hold the boards in place. Um, but I did go back after I placed them and pull them back down and I added some construction adhesive to the back just to make sure that they stay stuck so that when we start adding the foam, they stay in place and that foam is able to fill in the gaps, which is exactly what we started doing next. Needed to actually add the foam all the way around the boards. Actually, I did three sides. I did the two sides in the top, the bottom, and I add some more foam to the bottom before, or some more insulation board uh, before we finish that off. But I did do the two sides in the top, and this is actually probably the most fun part of this whole job was filling in these gaps with the foam. It's actually pretty cool to watch it work. You just put a little bit of foam in and then it expands and fills the gaps. This is actually uh, one inch foam is what it's, they call it. It's, I think it's cracks and I can't remember what they call it, but basically it's it's used to fill in one inch gaps. I do have a can uh, for three inch gaps also if we have some bigger gaps, but I just filled in those uh, gaps and we're actually making pretty good progress. So pretty well got the entire garage finished for, from this standpoint. Still need to do the bottoms, that's no problem. Take five minutes to do the bomb. I'll probably just use that three inch can of uh, the, or the can of three inch foam to fill in the bottoms. Um, but I think it's pretty good job done. It's it's not the cleanest job. It's not the prettiest job, but it's all going to be behind drywall. Uh, so that's no problem. But now we just need to move forward with adding the, we're going to put, I'm put in the electrical boxes, run all the, the wire for all the different electrical boxes that need to go in because there's literally two outlets in this entire garage. Going to need a lot more of those. So the next step is add in the outlet boxes, wire them in. I'll run all that wire out to uh, the circuit box outside the garage. I'll let an electrician handle that part. Um, but we'll put all that in. We'll insulate drywall and we'll get finished but the next step I think is gonna be adding in all those boxes once the inside is completely done then I'm gonna move my attention to the outside which is a little bit needs to be done out there also which we've talked about previously um, but I think this step pretty well done good to move forward We've also got to start moving everything to the inside workshop. So what we've been looking at so far is just the outside studio space where all the sets are going to be built and where most of the filming is going to happen, all the stop motion stuff and all the run video stuff is going to happen out there in the studio space. But we also have two rooms inside. One's a workspace, a workshop space, uh, and then one's more studio space where we'll be doing the voiceover work and my editing bay and all that will be there. So we've got to start moving all that over there so I can get back to work. I need to get back to work on actually building the vehicles, the sets and everything to go out in the studio space. I got to get back to that pretty soon. So I got to get everything moved over to those two rooms uh, inside. So I've gone ahead and started boxing everything up. Got a ton of boxes you can see here. Um, it's a This is quite a big move. There, there's a lot of stuff to move over there. Everything from my 3D printers to all the tools and all the materials, uh, all the work 
uh, uh, work benches and work tables. Got to get all that moved over. And I want to get it moved over quickly. One, because I got to get back to work on these different projects we've got going on uh, from finishing up the TRXZ, the Ripsaw, uh, Zuber's Ride, the entire city still has to be built. We basically only have one building built so far. We've got a ton more to go. So I've got to get back to work on that stuff. But I also want to get to the live streaming that we've been talking about, which everybody's been very in favor of. Uh, favor of uh, and I appreciate all the info last on last week's uh, update about the times other people are live streaming because we don't want to step on their toes. So I really appreciate all that input and all the times that would be good um, for us to live stream, but I've got to get everything moved over there, set up, ready to go. And I want to get that done as quickly as possible so I can start live streaming for you guys, get back to work, live stream that stuff for you guys as quickly as possible. Um, so that's, by the way, that's why you've only been getting basically one update a week lately um, is because I've been trying my hardest to just get this stuff moved as quickly as possible. I've been putting more effort into that than actually making these videos. But I do want to make sure and keep you up to date. So that's why I've been giving you at least one update a week. And it slowed down the release of the CA Glue video, which I would like to say is uh, fully filmed, uh, fully rough edited, and probably half final edited. And in fact, I've got it right here. The entire script has been written for it. I just have to do this, the the, the, the voiceover work for it, um, which I will probably do uh, actually tomorrow. I'm gonna do, uh, hopefully, I can edit it tomorrow, probably half edit tomorrow. Uh, I'll probably fully edit on the rest of the edit on Friday um, for maybe a Friday release. Uh, more likely a Saturday release. I don't want to, I know I keep saying these release dates and they never happen. So this is all very tentative, um, but it is almost, it is almost complete. Um, so I just wanted to give the update on that also, um, but I've got to get everything moved over there. This is the most important part is just getting everything moved. Um, it is difficult uh, to do everything all at once, but we'll get it done. And I appreciate appreciate you guys being patient with me and sticking around uh, watching these updates. I hope they're at least a little bit interesting, give you a little bit of an update of what's going on with the studio space. We'll get back to work real soon. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button if you want to be able to, if you want to be updated with what's coming in the future. Um, it's obviously not going to be all studio build updates. We are going to get back to work on the trucks, on the city, on all the scale stuff, the things that you guys are really interested in. So hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with that. Leave me those comments down below. What do you think about so far, uh, about the studio so far? If you have any ideas uh, as far as the studio itself, any better ideas, uh, let me know down in the comments section. Again, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.